Hello world, it is Tuesday, November 1st, 2022, and looking out the window at Defiance. Right now it's kind of overcast. It's kind of misty, um, not really raining, but damp this morning, um, but warmish because it was in the mid-50s uh, early this morning. <clears throat> and I think it's going to be near 70, um, and I think kind of cloudy with maybe some breakup later this afternoon. The devotion for today is entitled Holy Bothering, and it's written by Matt Laney. Matt bases on adapted verses from Luke chapter 18, verse 1 through 5. Jesus told a parable about the need to pray always and not lose heart. There was a judge who respected neither God nor people. A widow kept coming to him, saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while the judge refused, but later he said to himself, Though I have no respect for God or for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice. And then Matt writes, Civil change for marginalized communities doesn't happen overnight. It typically comes about because politicians have been worn down by the people's persistent bothering. President Biden's recent student loan forgiveness plan for some borrowers wasn't simply the result of kindness and compassion. It was a result of a long, well-organized bothering campaign. President Roosevelt didn't enact Social Security purely out of the goodness of his heart. The Social Security Act was the fruit of grassroots activists bothering for legislation to protect seniors. Bothering, persistence, constant, relentless, skillful attention to what's happening in the moment, the political moment, the social moment, the interpersonal moment, the environmental moment, the inner moment. That, Jesus says, is the essence of prayer. That is what, ha what prepares the way for justice. In other words, when we bother to give prayerful attention to what's happening in the world and respond with just love, we reveal and release holy power. We are both prayer and the response. Now is the time for holy bothering. And Matt's prayer. God, if I don't bother to pay attention to what's happening in this moment, send someone to bother me. Amen. Well, this devotion um, makes me think of um, well, my personal belief that prayer prayer is important, but prayer is more than simply asking God to intervene. Because um, I don't think God intervenes directly in the world miraculously, um, but through us. And sometimes that's miraculous too. God... Um, we are the answer sometimes to our own prayers or to someone else's prayer. Um, but it's consistent bothering, as Matt says, um, continuing to work for justice and for change for all people so that um, all everyone can understand that they are a child of God created in God's image. Um, and sometimes that does just take consistent, persistent bothering. Um, and in a way, when we undertake those kinds of tasks, um, our very life becomes a prayer. Because for me, it's all about trying to uh, live out God's love in the world. And what greater prayer can we have to God than to pray to God for the strength and the courage to take the action that God wants us to take in the world to bring justice to the world. I hope you have a good day, and I hope to talk to you and see you again tomorrow.